All right, so before we were so rudely interrupted by the lag of my computer, I was going to show you that if you want a single quotation mark or an apostrophe, you also need to escape that with a backslash. So let's see what that looks like. All right, work this time. Thank you very much. So I've got my single apostrophes there. Um, another thing that you need to escape is if you want a backslash to print on the actual screen, then you need to escape it because the first one means, hey, something special is coming. The second item is the actual special thing. So if I want to print one backslash, I have to type two. So that should get me one on the screen. There they are, right there. All right. Um, let's see, what else do I want to show you? Oh, yes. Maybe the least awesome thing that you could want to print, but we'll do it anyway. Um, you'll do this now, and you'll probably want to do it a whole bunch of times to annoy, you know, your teacher and all your friends. And then everyone's going to get over it really fast, so uh, amuse yourself with this now, and then only at very, uh, very measured intervals in the future. Anyway, let me show you what this thing does. So, backslash A is the uh, escape sequence. So let's see what it does. And you may notice you didn't see anything, but you might have heard that little tiny beep. Um, just to magnify the effect of that, let's do a whole bunch of them. All right. So you can become very annoying very quickly to those people next to you. The A is short for alert, which causes a beep. Um, it's not actually coming out of the speakers. So even if your teacher is smart like I am um, and removed all the speakers from the machines in your lab, uh, this thing will still sound. Um, but that's what the last escape sequence I'm gonna show you is backslash A. Um, I do wanna point out one thing before I move forward. We're going to learn about this in a little bit. Um, an escape sequence, even though it's two symbols, it technically counts as one individual item. And individual characters in C++ can be um, this thing called char. And you signify that with single quotes instead of double quotes. So you can do either one when you're using escape sequences. So I can go like this to get a beep, or I can go like this. And uh, they're both the same thing. If I do this way, I can't put a bunch of them in a row because that would be multiple characters, which would be a string, which we'll learn about later. Uh, but I can also do single quotes um, anywhere I want an escape sequence. What I can't do is I can't treat it like it's a number. So like I can't just do a backslash and loose here. You see it's giving me a syntax error. It's underlining in red. I do have to surround that guy with something to get it to happen um, the way I want it on the screen. So that is escape sequences.